Hello and welcome to another video. On this video I have the programmer from the company VVDI. It's the VVDI Multiprog and we will speak also about the programmers from the company CG. We will compare one with each other. You noticed I compared the VVDI Multiprog against three programmers from the CG company because in my opinion it can almost replace all three programmers from the CG company but we will go one after each other in this video we will cover only one programmer because if I do like that the video will be too long I decide to make with this screen recording because it is much easier for me also to edit the video basically it's nothing to see because I don't make a reading or writing I will compare only the software from these programmers because the hardware you will see in different videos when I will uh, work with them. I have this programmer for almost two months. It comes on the market three months ago and uh, I am quite happy. I mine is not bad. We will go together through the menu and uh, we will see what is plus and minus. For the beginning on this video we will start with FC200. Why I decide to start with the FC200? It is because most of the subscribers of this channel they are interesting to see ECU and TCU programmers and this is exactly what we will do today. We will go to all of this uh, functionality from ECU and TCU reading and writing. I will show you only the differences. I've been already in the menu. I don't uh, like to buy a programmer and showing you how I will open this uh, box because I don't know. It's not uh, Christmas time every day and we are not six years old to showing you how I will open this uh, box and unboxing but we have no idea how to use these uh, programmers. This is what I don't like it on, on YouTube. When the people showing you how to open a, a package, I mean also two years old child can open the package. It is important what you show me. When they will start to present the programmer, they have no idea about this programmer or the functionality. As I said, I've been working with this uh, programmer for let's say almost two months. And uh, it have also a few issues, but I will show you in different videos what is the problem and uh, what he cannot do, okay? Before to start and go forward, I want to mention that this video it is only for educational purpose. I don't have money from none of these two companies to showing you the programmers. Like Colius, I will tell you what I think, what I believe on the end. I will tell you also if it's worth to buy Multiprog or if it's a good idea to buy the FC200. We will go step by step and uh, I will try to cover all of these uh, plus and minus from both of the companies. Next step it is to see together what is the differences between FC200 and VVDI Multiprog that as I said only on TCU and ECU, okay? Okay, and I have the programmer connected. The software is also ready to be used. First of all I will go with FC200. What I don't like here it is I cannot use the keyboard. I try to put up down but it doesn't react. You can use only the mouse. If you uh, work with uh, Multiprog, you don't have this problem. I mean, like, you can go with a keyboard. And this is really a plus, but I like it. Okay. This is one minus for FC200. Also, the Multiprog have a big minus. Let's select uh, ECU because today we'll compare these programmers only on ECU and TCU. Okay. Pay attention. What I don't like it about this menu is the arrangement. It should be arranged in the alphabetical order from A to Z and you don't have these things. I mean, you start with Audi, you have BMW, then you have Porsche. It have no logical why they are put it like that. Because if you want to put the biggest company, let's say you have VAC group, it will be the first one and uh, PSA, the Peugeot and all of this stuff. but. I didn't understand why the menu is like that. First time when I tried it, I said, what the fuck, what is this? Most important is to work and you'll find for yourself. The searching button works great. It's like, let's say you are on the issue and you try to find the VAG issue, let's say CMOS. Okay, it search is very good. Let's go back and uh, because I mentioned that the VAG is the, the biggest company who produce cars, we start with the uh, VAG company. But before that, what I do like on the Multiprog, let's close this one, it is this. You can do update. Okay. I'm already on the last version. Okay. You have also 
software upgrade. But it's also possible to make a firmware update. It is not like in VVDI programmer where it was not possible. You just copy and paste that software here. It will be a proper install and also update. We don't lose the time anymore. We will start comparing these programmers. We go on device and we will select the issue and let's start i will put it here on the corner then we have better visibility you know very good the uh, fc200 is good for bosch issues but we do have also few issues here okay i will put for every comparing a picture on the screen then you'll see the plus and the minus from both of the programmers because if i go through all of them it will be too long we have a big list but as i said i will show you only the differences and uh, you'll be the one who decide to buy or to don't buy this programmer okay the second one will be citroen and peugeot we have here it's quite a big list but what i noticed on vvdi you have more uh, issues comparing with fc200 like in another case where the fc200 have more uh, issues than uh, vvdi till now fc200 is better on vag and vvdi is better on peugeot okay we go to the third brand uh, will be the fiat company it's a quite big list on the vvdi also you noticed we have uh, on fc200 few issues that i cannot find on the vvdi but also the vvdi cover all of these marelli issues and also the delphi the next one from here will be bmw and it's not bmw y it's bmw because it's a fucking german company okay You can also choose the model from here. Let's say 5 series and you have only 5 series. But I prefer to show you all these issues then will be much better. On BMW we have only one differences and you'll see also on the screen which one it is. It's on electrical engine. That's it. Then is no difference between these two programmers. After that I will stay also on the Europe brands and we go to opel again a lot of bosch issues here and we have only one delphi 3.7 ap and over here you noticed we have a uh, marelli again and this is the main difference between both of them but as you can see also in this picture we have also marelli we have uh, delco and also from denso one issue the next brand will be Mercedes. As I said, it destroyed my my head. It doesn't have uh, logic how they put these names over here. I tried to read these issues with uh, FC200 and all of them works. I don't have issues. What I found, it's only one this issue, what we have it here on VVDI, only one, and I couldn't find difference between both of them. Then will be also almost similar because we have only one issue, and this is the CRD11 on C-Class installed. At least it shows us like that when we go here. I never have to deal with this type of issue. From here we move again to French company, we go to Renault. Over here on the Renault company, we do have few uh, differences and uh, VVDI is clearly the winner. You notice the list is very short. Here it repeat the uh, issues type because as I said we have a lot of uh, models here. But you can notice from the picture we have from Continental a lot of issues what uh, FC200 doesn't have it and this is entire list. I believe it's enough with European cars. Let's move also to Asian cars. And from here, first what I will take is Mazda. You noticed FC200, it will have also similar issues with uh, VVDI. I put these funny pictures because in my opinion is no difference. We go to the next one will be Honda. Also the list is similar. 
we don't have uh, differences between this brand still now from here we jump to Toyota and also on Toyota I couldn't find uh, differences both of programmers have similar issues covering let's uh, go also on another Japanese brand Nissan as you can notice the Nissan it will show us also the issues from Renault they use also a lot of Renault engines I never tried this uh, SID 310 but I noticed also here the VVDI Prog have this issue and as you can notice it have also Denso few Denso generation what FC200 doesn't have it and also from Continental we have uh, another three issues what I couldn't find on FC200 and it's plus for VVDI Prog okay from here we move to Korean Kia Hyundai and Kia they will have same type of issue okay and what I found it it was the Continental issue if you pay attention this one over here SIM2K 240 is the issue and 341 is the TCU the 341 the TCU you will find also on the VVDI Prog then on this case the FC200 it was uh, let's say the winner it have uh, one uh, issue that uh, I cannot find here on the VVDI. I believe it's enough with uh, Asian, with uh, European. Let's try also to go on uh, American brands. I start first with Ford. You have also mixed of them. You have also European and American. But let's try to see. On Ford, I found these three type of issues. What FC200 doesn't have it is the Delphi, Continental, and Bosch. Let's try to take another uh, American company. Let's go, for example, Cadillac. I have no experience with this. Uh, type of cars but I know I have also uh, subscribers from USA and they work on American cars and all the time they will ask me and I'm really bad I'm sorry but I have no experience on this American cars over here both of the programmers they work similar I don't find difference let's try to take another one on Chevrolet will be also the similar functionality FC200 and Multiprog same functionality Okay, let's take one more and that's it let's go on Chrysler you see for yourself the uh, difference we have this type of the continental issues FC 200 have more issues because you have this continental issues what we don't have it here also another uh, Bosch issue like this one or this one I don't want to make too long this video then we will jump to uh, TCU to the gearbox and I will take two three brands and after that we close the video we will select the TCU. I will start with VAG company because here I found a difference. Okay. Usually on FC200 it's on the end, the gearbox. And on Multiprog, I don't know, they are, you must to search for them. As you can notice, the FC200 it cover uh, different uh, TCUs and VVDI also interesting uh, TCUs like DQ. It is definitely a big plus okay let's jump also to BMW on BMW is this one what I found it here and let's move also here you see on the picture two type of, of TCUs have VVDI more one type have FC200 let's also jump to PSA group you notice FC200 have this type of the TCU I didn't know it it's installed on the on Peugeot maybe on V6 I never have to deal with this type of TCU from Peugeot I don't know in which car it is installed you, if you know leave me a comment below but uh, 9 HP I don't know should be maybe in the newest generation from Peugeot and over here we have these two and here I will finish my list comparing these two programmers FC200 and uh, VVDI Prog but before to close the video let's go also on the website on the original website from both of these companies and see how much it will cost if you want to buy and I will tell you also after that my opinion if you should buy or not it's just my opinion you can do whatever you like to do it's your choice it's your money okay let's go on internet and uh, search for these two programmers I start first with Multiprog the website uh, is from Xhorse company it's similar if it's in Europe or if it's in UK or USA you can order from the place what is most reliable for you I take Europe because I don't must to pay taxes you see the price it's 755 euro on the begin it was a little bit over 800 euro now with, with the time the price come down I'm sure in the few months it will be also much lower than that you know very good the strategy of these Chinese companies on the begin when they are on the market 
they have expensive price and after that the price goes slowly down basically with this price with 755 euro they will destroy the cg company there's no chance to compete with this price let's take a look also on the fc what it's on this moment and fc 200 it cost 200 euro less but it is really 200 euro less or not let's see if it's true or not if it's cheaper or not after one year you should also add this money it's every year you should buy the license on the beginning they started with 70 euro 80 euro 120 euro and now they jump to 188 euro they are fucking crazy vvdi multiprog it is for free you don't must to pay extra you buy it and that's it you'll have the updates uh, for life you don't pay for firmware update or different uh, options from the programmer it's everything unlocked on the fc 200 after one year if you don't have the license anymore you can not use anymore this programmer i mind it's a garbage and uh, if they will stay like that they will be destroyed from the vvdi multiprog because for 200 euro what you'll pay more okay this programmer it can offer you much more than that it have also the programming functionality from different type of mcus and uh, ee proms but as i said we'll go in another video because will be too long and before to close the video as i said let's go a little bit to our programmers if you'll ask me worth any more to buy the fc 200 i'll tell you now because you saw the price the price is 200 euro less than multiprog but after one year you will pay this 200 euro then if you'll save the money it's only for one year and after that you have the similar price and you will be always limited on this license on this shit what you must to pay then it's not reliable anymore and i don't suggest you to buy anymore this fc 200 i know maybe i will have comments below and the people will tell me yes you said us it's a great programmer but this was two years ago you should keep in mind every year or every month you have this release of this uh, programmer and this is the reason also of this channel to show you what is good what is bad if i said two years ago this was a great programmer yes it was two years ago now we are two years later and main time you can have a lot of company who develop different programmers and at this moment the fc 200 will start to die if they don't change the strategy the multiprog looks good both of them they have problem with uh, checksum correction don't uh, trust the checksum correction from these two programmers because they are very poor on the checksum correction and you don't want to have bad surprises in my opinion the vvdi multiprog it's clear the winner because he can do much more than that it's not only a ecu and tcu programmer it have much more functionality then clear the fc 200 is not to buy anymore okay but it's just my opinion do whatever you like to do if you have the fc 200 don't move to multiprog because it doesn't worth the money to pay 755 euro just to have this programmer because you can read few type of uh, issues more no it uh, doesn't worth the money but if you don't have the fc 200 go straight to multiprog because on the end you'll see you'll save a lot of money actually what i believe i believe the multiprog can replace all these three programmers but we go one after each other okay like always thank you for watching and see us to next video bye bye